Okay folks, time for game 3 now between Grubby and Happy. This game's going to be on Echo Isles, and um, again I'm just going to speed up to sort of 2 minutes or so, just because there's not really much to, too much to say about or versus Undead. Obviously Grubby could go for Farseer first, but no, he chooses Blade Master, and I'm happy going for a um, uh, Fiend build again this time. Uh, obviously he went for a bit of a different build last time, it didn't really go too well for him. I think he just never really got enough Fiends into um, play, and uh, meanwhile the Blade Master is um, already creeping, obviously, you know, uh, heroes, his heroes could be out a lot earlier than um, Happy's, and Happy is just sort of pulling units a bit, uh, just getting a bit of extra damage, just a um, bit of preliminary work really. And um, Blade Master takes a lot of damage, but um, Voodoo Lounge comes out at right, exactly the right time. He probably sells his TP and buys a um, healing salve, and will now creep to level two, pretty um, docile, creepingly, all, all things considered. I think this is probably because he knows that about Happy's sort of playstyle today, where it's just been sort of solo creep with um, fiends and. Uh, uh, skeletons and whatnot, and um, actually uh, ghouls as well at one point, and then um, run your death knight around and just try and uh, get some get some kills with uh, with that. And uh, that's it's a bit of unusual play. And actually, I'm happy now creeping out this camp, but getting cut out a bit. So a pretty bad start for Happy because um, Grubby will now come in and p might manage to get um, or put some damage at least on a fiend. Obviously, I actually pops a speed scroll just so he can get his blade master in a bit faster as well. And I'm getting some pretty nice blocks there, but not really managing to keep his death knight or to keep his um, grunts up. To um, be and the the death knight is level two, so that's going to mean that he does have aura, which is going to make it harder to ch chase down these fiends. And um, happy u being forced to use another coil, but means that this um, fiend will survive. And actually, Grubby's now going to have to run some of his grunts back because obviously um, they can. You don't want to be fighting in the undead base, especially considering Happy has already started upgrading a tower. Something I don't think he's actually done in the previous two games. Maybe he did it in the first game. I can't remember now, but. Um, he's, I think it's been a small amount of money that he's just been saving because um, Grubby knows that he really shouldn't be fighting in Happy's base uh, and Happy's had pretty good map awareness so he's known where, um, where Grubby was at lots of the time anyways and Grubby's tech now uh, getting on a bit and uh, get, so he's pretty close and I think it's yeah significantly ahead of Happy's because Happy's going for more fiends before he attacks this time and um, meanwhile Happy with um, three fiends out now and looks like he will probably go for um, some sort of creeping when the blade master goes away at least I, I'm, I'm not sure um, Grubby's grunts aren't actually doing that much at this point um, Grubby is trying to focus on these uh, fiends and just forcing um, Happy to waste a mana and um, Happy now out of mana for coil so um, he will just have to creep this camp I think instead of a bigger camp, like it looks like he was trying to do before. Maybe he was going to go for his um, gold mine or something. And uh, meanwhile, Grubby running um, one grunt in, and um, it just uh, it just uh, looks like he's just scouting as to what's happening. But uh, he will just try and run away, uh, or he will manage to run away. To be fair, and um, this one skeleton will actually just um, continue to go scout. And um, Happy's been using skeletons quite good, as you can see. Actually, he's doing it. He's been continuing to use skeletons well um, these last couple of games. Just um, really um, having good map awareness. It's something that Ted does a lot as well. I think um, Happy and Ted are by far away the two best undeads in the world, and um, that's something that they both do very well. It's something. It's a bit like um, uh, elves using wisps, but it's a lot harder to do because you obviously. It, it, I mean, it costs something for a start, and um, you can't just leave them there. They do time out eventually. And um, Grubby actually scouting this um, skeleton. Skeleton immediately going to aggro the creeps. Obviously, he just wants to get in a snare off on a um, grunt, and he does actually manage to just within range. And um, so this grunt's going to take a fair bit of damage now before managing to get away. And um, hopefully, he won't get ensnared again. And you know, Grubby continuing to harass, but um, Happy now has five fiends, and really that's probably about the critical point where you can't really um, do much more harassment, uh, or at least um, not the type that Grubby was doing where it wasn't even like wall creeping, it was just sort of kicking about trying to kill things. And Happy now, I'm um, tier th uh, going for tier three, and um, and the slaughterhouse. Meanwhile, Grubby's um, bestiary is already up. His spirit lodge is a bit later, and um, actually it looks like it's taken a bit of no, it may maybe it hasn't. No, never mind. And um, Shadow Hunter is um, out second for Grubby, and uh, this worked quite well for him last game, so I guess he's just going to try it again. Um, obviously, with a slight slant, and um, and uh, Happy meanwhile, I'm um, using a uh, a um, what's it, skull just to uh, get the blight down, just so he can get that healing, and that's something you see um, uh, undeads do a fair bit now when they're going to be doing creeping a big camp. It's nice just so that if they are creepjack, they are on blight anyways, and so they get a lot of extra mana or um, health regeneration and whatnot. I mean, we're grubbing running in actually just with two heroes significantly out front of the rest of the army, but happy team peeing away, already away just before um, the uh, grunts even come in, and that's um, pretty wise for him. Just he doesn't really want to um, have to face against all uh, against four grunts because obviously yeah, it's pretty hard, especially when you have hex against you and stuff as well. And tier three gun pretty close to getting out now, and Lich I imagine will be pretty close as well. And 
That's going to be pretty good, and uh, I don't think Grubby started, or even done a t tier 3 tech, no, he's, it looks like he's digging at tier 2 and going for a standard um, sort of orc build, that work, sort of universal orc build, and um, no fourth burrow for Grubby, this is really careless by him, um, this is going to mean that he's not going to have his um, 50 food up for a very long time, I'm not sure why, maybe it's some sort of mistake, or maybe he is saving up for expansion or something, I don't know, um, but still sticking at 40 food is a bit risky. Um, and I'm happy at 40 food as well, but he will be tier 3 in a minute, so he will have an orb and whatnot. And um, his lich is now out as well. Uh, he's probably gone for frost armor first, like he has in the last couple of games. And I'm having both the um, claws passed to him as well. Uh, obviously, um, claws just so good on a lich when combined with an orb, especially. But also, just not that good on a death knight, really, to be honest. And um, Blade Master now hitting level 3 and will run away. Obviously, no really point in trying to creep it beyond that point. Um, especially when your Shadow Hunter is so low. And um, actually, probably accidentally tanking a bit too much on the Spirit Walker, being forced to run that back as well. And uh, actually, tanking too much on the wrong units as well. Tanking on the Grunt here, I should switch focus to the other Grunt. And I'm um, scrolling the Beast for Grubby. That's not brilliant because I imagine happy to go for Destro's like he has the past couple games. Um, yeah, there's the upgrade there. Um, and um, any upgrades? No, no upgrades yet on the um, Fiends or Destro's, but uh, we will see them soon, I imagine, because Des um, it is uh, sort of one um, upgrade for both of them, and um, it's a pretty nice upgrade as well. Fiend upgrades, Fiends upgrade pretty well, so it's um, well worth getting off, and, and Grubby now scouting where Happy is, and I'm not sure if he's putting up a fourth bro. No, he's taking, oh, he's taking the two or... Um, uh, three and also he has got his fourth burrow up now, but he is engaging nonetheless, which is a bit of a weird choice for time to attack. He does have a um, lightning shield on his blade master. That's very nice because I'm um, combined with ensnare and um, against grunts or sorry against um, uh, ghouls. That's um, going to be pretty effective. And now uh, burrow now up for um, happy and a uh, grubby being forced to um, heal up his blade master and we'll have to pop an invon pod as well. And he might have to actually move out after this um, battle because he is speech going in. But once his um, blade master um, runs out, actually, yeah, he. He does need to heal up again, and um, just in time actually, because the coil came in as well. It's just down to 66 six points. And if that second heal hadn't come in from the Shadow Hunter, that would have been it for the Blade Master, and um, probably that would be would have been it for Grubby as well. And I'm um, happy being able to go into the offensive here. He does now have his first Destroyer out as well, and um, the Blade Master does run back. He does have a heal scroll which he um gives to the Shadow Hunter, and maybe he popped it. No, he just pops it now. And um, meanwhile, Grubby, I'm um, using Dust again to try and kill off these um fiends, but I'm happy just um coiling it and then I'm burrowing it as well. But um, because it, it's gonna get focused down anyways. And uh, obviously, um, the upgrade uh, has been researched for the Grunts because uh, if, uh against fiends, you really that upgrade actually is very effective. And um, Grubby getting Nether and Snare and a kill on a fiend and. Um, a couple ghouls left for Happy, but really not that much. Uh, Grubby has done a good job of killing all the uh, fiends, and so um, Happy, I think, less of an advantage than he had at um, one point a couple, uh, sort of 30 seconds ago or so. Uh, but um, Grubby being forced to run his um, raiders away because his heroes don't really have much um, mana or health at this point. And uh, Grubby is now tier 3 as well, so he probably should invest in um, an orb and stuff like that. And I'm not sure about how much gold he has. No, he doesn't have enough gold at this point. It's a bit careless of him. Um, if any, oh, although he does need to go to Kodo as well. So um, actually, he's getting. Um, master training for spirit walkers that's something that's definitely worth doing if you do go tier 3 and you do have spirit walkers because um, that's an awesome training uh, I mean it's just so amazing like it's so much fun to play with for a start obviously if you go um, uh, lots of them then you can they can bring back each other and bring, if you want to go for Torin even you probably could but obviously um, they, they, there's Torin are just rubbish but uh, they, actually the only situation which I've seen pros go Torin sort of reliably is um, if they happen to go tier 3 against human and the humans have um, switched from um, griffins or something to breakers in that case Torrin actually can be quite effective but otherwise I think um, they're not really that useful and uh, meanwhile I'm happy he's now creeping up he is almost level 4 in his death knight and he will get that from this camp as well and uh, that's going to be pretty nice for him because obviously level 2 aura is pretty pretty powerful it's not like one of those sort of paltry second um, skills where you don't really care about it actually he could even go for death pack second you often see um, if they're in a bad situation when they hit level 4 they go for um, death pack and just sort of sacrifice a fiend or a ghoul and um, just to stay in that battle for a bit longer than they otherwise could and um, Lich now with plus 23 damage actually this is very nice for him 3 um, claws of attack and um, an orb as well and that's just going to give him such um, immense focusing power and Grubby's first um, Kodo is now out, and that's why he's decided to pick this fight now, and he doesn't actually manage to um, uh, eat the um, fiend, but there is an ensnared one here, which he should just kill, uh, and he does manage to eat it there. And um, meanwhile, Grubby is um, trying to focus down these units. He has bought an orb on his Blade Master as well, and being, uh, Grubby being forced to br bring back his units, but um, 
does bring them straight back in as well. And uh, Grubby now I'm um, going for one of these destroyers, and I'm not sure if Happy's going to manage to coil it or not. No, he doesn't have enough mana. He's about three mana short. And um, Happy with a couple of burrowed um, fiends here as well, which he might want to unburrow really at this point. And um, he has used his coil now on his um, crypt fiend, uh, which will go down anyway. So I'm not sure that was the best use ever. But um, the blade master is in a bit of trouble now. Just have to wind walk away. But um, a pretty nice fight there for Happy, um, considering that it's a sort of undead versus orc and whatnot. And um, level three, three, three for Grubby compared to four, two for Happy. And um, I'm not sure if he's going to go for a third hero. There are obviously a couple choices. We've seen a couple of them already, but I'm not sure if um, I would actually Grubby losing his um, coder there. So that's pretty unf that's pretty bad. And um, Happy managing to get a. Um, burrow off just in time and I'm uh, being forced to um, wind walk away obviously he wanted to get that um, fiend kill but he didn't quite manage it and uh, looks like he's just gonna stick around that um, fiend anyways just uh, in the hopes that maybe he's gonna bring his um, shadow hunter in or maybe he's just gonna wait for it to unburrow that would be pretty bad use of his time but yeah he decides to just run away and uh, meanwhile I'm happy is um, creeping 